This is Santa's the Yoda, and today I'm going to read you a, a storybook. It's The Wolf and the Lamb. And I'm going to read this to my Ninning Elspeth. She's my mother's sister. The Wolf and the Lamb. One day, a thirsty lamb went down to the river to have a nice drink of water to quench his thirst. An old wolf who was walking past saw the lamb and he, his mouth began to what? He thought to himself, a lamb, my lucky day. I'll have him for a tasty dinner. And the lamb crouched down and was just about to scoop up some water with a mother when he heard a big roar nearby. It was the wolf. Hey, you little lamb, get over here now, he shouted. The lamb replied, I left us, left us, sorry. The poor little lamb ran over to the wolf straight away. The wolf bellowed at the lamb. How dare you make the water muddy? Can't you see? I'm drinking water from, from the same river. The lamb replied gently, Dear sir, I beg you, pardon. The water is running down from you to me. How can I make the water upstream muddy? Hearing this, the wolf thought to himself, I didn't expect him to be so smart. I will have to think of something else. Then the wolf cunning wolf then the cunning wolf said to the lamb, Didn't you make the water muddy last year? The lamb was puzzled. The lamb was puzzled. But my dear sir, I wasn't even born last year. He said, how was it possible to make, for me to make the water so muddy, the, make the water muddy? The wolf thought to himself again, this little lamb is really, is, this little lamb really is difficult to fool. The evil wolf thought for a while and said to the lamb, If it wasn't you, then it must be your brothers and sisters who made the water muddy. The little lamb replied, Dear sir, that's impossible because I'm the only child in the family. The disgruntled wolf couldn't, could not think of anything to say for a moment. He thought, it seems that no None of my clever words can take this little lamb.
the wolf taught to whole thing. Put the whole thing. Oh, forget. Putting up the lamp in his and he said, Then it must be your parents who made the water muddy. The lamp answered, How can that be? My parents and I just moved here this year. This year. Every accusation. accusation was refuted. Now the wolf was really angry and he roared at the lamp and at the lamp. Even so, the water has been pulled by your polluted, polluted by your family and by you and your family. The poor lamp couldn't understand why the wolf was so angry. He asked him, Dear sir, why are you so angry? Without saying any word, the fierce wolf pushed down at the lamp and knocked him to the ground. This poor desperate, desperate to accept escape. escape, the lamp jumped up and ran across the nearby wooden bridge as fast as he could. The wolf chased the, him at top speed. The wolf cut, cut. cut up with the lamp and pushed on him. The poor lamp fell to the ground and heavily, heavily he cr and cried, Dear sir, why do you treat me like this? The bad wolf. The bad wolf bait his friends because I'm going to eat you up. He snarled. snarled. <laughs> then the evil wolf opened his big mouth and he ate the lamb. Oh. Does a wolf need a reason to eat a lamb? He laughed. Laughed. So good. The end. Bye bye, Elspeth. You know Elspeth.